Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So today we're going to acrylic pour on this table. Now this is just an Ikea tabletop. Uh, I already took the legs off. I got this for like five bucks at a rummage sale. It's a decent size. Um, I don't remember the exact measurements, but something like two and a half by three and a half feet. And it's got the taller legs, not like the coffee table short legs. So um, we're going to pour on this and stick around till the end because I'm going to tell you something interesting about this project because I actually already did a pour on it and I'm going to tell you what happened to that. For now though I did sand this and I primed it and then I just got wet paint on it from my hand. I have a cup here with a little bit of leftover paint that has the same colors that I'm using on this one so I'm just going to go ahead and use that again. I prefer to not waste cups if possible and I'm using Mostly Artist Loft Flow acrylics here. So it's white. I'm gonna throw some black in here. And it's gonna be blues, basically. Blue, yellow. I did put a smidge of red in there at the beginning and I'm gonna throw just a little bit more. I just kinda wanna get the hint of a color other than the blues. I'm just going to go ahead and do all that again, basically. Lots and lots of blue. Definitely going for blues here. And I did not do the math on how much paint is needed on this table, but basically I'm going to start with this cup, and then I'm going to go ahead and refill it and add more paint as needed. So, should I get a little dust off of here? And here we go. I'm going to start over here on this end. There's a little bit of that red coming out. Okay, so what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to tilt this and then of course add more paint. All right, so that kind of gives us a nice base coat. Let's go ahead and we'll refill our cup. This is a 16 ounce cup, by the way. All right, I've gotten this completely full again. I'm going to do some specifically in some spots that didn't really get a lot of paint the last time, namely over here. Good. And then the rest I'm going to do right in the middle. And in case anyone's wondering, I'm definitely going for a darker table. I'm not, I added a lot of black on purpose. So we're going to go ahead and once again, tilt this. this side fully covered now we're gonna work on this side um, I can already tell I am gonna need some more paint down here so we'll go ahead and we'll do that again more and more paint takes a lot of paint
almost dropped it there. Okay. So this is awesome. I'm going to get all of my sides fully covered. I did mess up the corners just a tad, but I'm not gonna worry about that too much. The flow trowel and everything will kind of level back over it. And otherwise, I'm really happy with this. So, we're gonna go ahead and we'll let this sit. Then we will come back when it is all dry and we'll see how it looks then. All right, guys, so we're back with the table. It is completely dry. Uh, this is how it looks like from my uh, perspective over here as I was pouring it. It even continued well around the sides. My table is not level, but I took that into account um, in the design, so it did move further in that direction. <laughs> Um, check out some of the cool colors that I got here with just the minimal colors that I used. Got this little peak of pink in there. I love this side over here. Um, yeah, so overall came out really cool. To me, it looks like a, a river going through a canyon or something like that. Um, now I am going to show you one other thing really quick. So I learned an important lesson while doing this table. I did in fact pour the table already before and this was the original pour. Now, how did this happen? Well, long story short, I was kind of lazy. I didn't do anything to prep it whatsoever. I didn't sand, I didn't prime, nothing. So this peeled right off, um, which is okay because I wasn't super fond of it or attached to it. It's kind of cool, but definitely not really my color scheme. Anyway, so now I have this really cool acrylic skin. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. It's like, what, four, almost four feet by over two feet. Um, and it's it feels like, um, like pleather <laughs> is what it feels like. So anyways, important lesson. No matter what you're doing, even if it's an Ikea furniture piece, make sure you properly prep your surface. <laughs> so stay tuned for part two of this video, which will come out in the next uh, couple weeks or so. And that will be where I will seal that table with resin. And I may do some other embellishments or something to it. I'm not totally sure. But we'll be able to see the final product in part two. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time.